Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading, your next reading. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, this reading is not really time specific, but I was just sitting here getting ready to do your reading. I happen to be doing them in order this time. And for some reason, before I, long time ago, maybe, maybe 20 minutes ago, whatever, I took the feathers out, you know, and I was just sitting here getting ready to do your reading, hooked over at that, and I said, oh, it's crystal clear. It's crystal clear. I don't know. I can see it crystal clear. You might see some sort of reflections in it, whatever. Anyhow, something has become crystal clear to you. All right. That's, that's a message specifically for you. Okay. Um, so anyway, what do we got for cancer? What do we have for cancer? What does cancer need to know? Ooh, it's the end. It's the end of pain. This is recovering, recovery, healing, letting go of the past hurts. Really, really recovering from them past hurts. It's like it's the end. You're coming close to the end of a painful situation, right? I don't need the ten of swords. This is, you know, you're 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 in you're in the state of, stages of recovery, and you're making amends. You're starting to heal. Still kind of at the beginning. This is a card of releasing pain. It's a card of forgiveness and healing. So this is healing. Ooh, you may have been dealing with an abusive individual. Somebody that was neglecting you. You may have been in an abusive, in a abusive situation with the King of Swords reversed. This is somebody that is cold. It could I mean, this could go vice versa. Okay. There is somebody in this scenario that is very cold and unemotional. This person could be a bully. You could be dealing with a bully or you were dealing with a bully. But it's over. Like I said, the, ten, the, the world card. This is the end of a cycle. It's the end of a phase. You have graduated. You have learned your lesson. Somebody has learned their lesson. Whether it's you or the... Somebody has learned a lesson. And it looks as though it was a pretty painful one. Okay, it was a painful lesson. It was, it was, but it's over. That is the end, the very end. Now it's time for you to be happy. It's time for you to have wish fulfillment. It's a time of hope. It's a time of inspiration. It's a time of renewal. This is getting what you want. This is following your dreams. This is a blessing. The star card. This is a blessing. A blessing is coming of some sort. You have completed something and now you are going to be blessed. That is what this is. This is like a wish being fulfilled. We got two. Ooh. We got three. So we got the emperor. Judgment reversed and the wheel of fortune. So the emperor, this is about structure, strength, order, Security. Hmm. Judgment reversed. This is... Uh, hmm. This is lack of awareness in some way. This is the cycle. Again, a cycle that is ending. A change. Something is... You're, okay. So, this is very positive. This is good luck. This is a lucky break. And this is a blessing. You are about to receive some sort of blessing, okay? And this is very positive. Very positive. You may not be aware of it, but you are about to receive something very, very bright, okay? Maybe you're going to be shining bright. Maybe you're going to have some sort of extreme happiness. I don't even need the sun card. This is healing as well. So you guys are going, are going to be receiving some sort of gift by the looks of things. This is fortune and this is a gift. You're going to be receiving some sort of gift. You're not aware of it. This is unaware. You could be receiving it. Now, I don't know if you're this could be from a boss. This could be from a father. Um, if you are a female watching this, you could have a male, a very strong male that comes into your life or is in your life now that is very protective. This person may want to take care of you. This person is um, 
very well put together, put it that way. And totally different than this person. All right. This is being in control. Could be dealing with an Aries, could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, could be dealing with a Scorpio, could be dealing with an Aquarius again. We have Taurus, um, Aquarius, Leo, and Scorpio as well. You have a lot of majors here. Okay, right here we got, this is major. Okay, we got, we got seven cards and we got five majors. This is universally driven. So it's like the universe is changing your direction in a very, it's changing it in a very positive way. Okay, something very positive, something very good. It's like a dream is about to come true for you. Okay, and I don't like to fluff things up, but the star card is a dream coming true right next to that wheel of fortune. This is destiny. It is meant to be. It's time for you to receive some sort of reward. And I don't know what that reward is, but you are going to receive some sort of reward, Cancer. Maybe it's a reward for remaining in control. I don't know what this reward is for. Maybe it's a reward for completing this lesson, that whatever this lesson was. You have learned. This is a lesson. The world card is a lesson learned. You may be unaware that you learned some lesson, or you may be unaware that they are about to give you something, but you are about to receive something. Okay? Six of This is letting go of the past. Clinging to the Six of Cups reversed. So this is a past as well. So some of you may have been holding on to the past or the past was hanging on to you, could go vice versa, but I feel as though things are about to change, okay? This is this is letting go of the past, really, it is, because the, the Six of Cups is reversed. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Clarity, awakening, epiphany, the truth. Having the power. This is the sword of power. This is the sword of truth. This is also the sword that cuts. So, Cancer. I see a recovery. A recovery, recovering from some sort of abuse. Being in the lead. Taking the lead. Being the boss. Let me make sure that this is focused. It looks it looks to me you may you may have been challenged to remain in control. Maybe maybe you were dealing with somebody who was saying a bunch of shit about you. You know, this person is what, you know, saying things that weren't true and that was really hurting you. And you may have been challenged to, you know, <laughs> remain in control and if that is the case I think that you have passed your test okay whatever that test was I think you have passed the test because you 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 are about to receive some sort of reward for remaining in control by the looks of things somebody from your past by the looks of things may have been running you down saying shit but I think that it's over I think it's over. Maybe this person was hurt because there was no reconciliation. But it's over now because this is, it's, it's over. It's over. This cycle is over. Okay. This cycle is over. That is what this is. The cycle is over. I can't get this thing to focus for nothing. If somebody wants to put in the comments how to do that so I don't have to read the book, that would be great. Anyhow, um, this cycle is over. The thing is, right here, this Nine of Pentacles, this is over in your external environment. Now, this is a card of independence, of self-sufficiency. So, in your external environment, some of you, this is a complete, okay, we have completion, completion. Some of you may need to um, sever ties. This is the sword that cuts. You may need to sever ties with somebody from your past, or you may need to sever ties with 
somebody that is hurting you, if you haven't done that already, somebody that is hurting you, you may need to sever ties with them and there could be fear of being alone. Okay, maybe you don't want to be alone, but you're not in love with this person. I mean, I don't see any love in these cards. Being honest with you. And this is honesty as well. So maybe somebody needs to, you know, do what's right. Be, be act with integrity. Do the right thing. Whether it's you or the other person. There's, there's, there's like an independence issue here. Maybe there's codependency here. I feel like there's some sort of past connection that needs to be dealt with, okay? Um, this, is, this is things changing for the better. We have a completion of one cycle that is going to bring you wish fulfillment. If you are single, you are completely single, you may be unaware that things are about to change very, very quickly by the looks of things. If you are completely single, you are going to have somebody probably come into your life. This person is a boss. This person is a business owner. This person um, is very structured. This person is very wise, whoever this person is. So if you are single, you're going to have somebody come into your life that you really don't see coming. Um, this person, um, will come, I think this person, will, it will, it will happen, um, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to figure out when this is going to happen. When you release, you release the past. If you have not, because this is a card of needing to release the past. So if some of you are holding on to the past, release it. Release it because you have something new here that could really fulfill your dreams. You're about to receive some sort of reward. Right now, in your approach, this is your approach position. Speak up, be honest, act with integrity. Do the right thing. Do what you have to do for you, even if it means that you have to go your own way. Because you got something here that is is very rewarding. Very rewarding. It's everything that you have dreamed of. But you have to you have to be honest. This is your approach. Speak the truth. Speak the truth. Right now, we have somebody here that is maybe losing hope, somebody that may be self-loathing, they may be unaware that they, they have a huge blessing right here. I'm here to tell you that you have a blessing waiting for you. But there's something that you need to do, and it has to do with the past. The Six of Cups, it has to do with the past. Let's clarify that. Letting it go, okay? There's, there's no uh, spark left. There's no spark, there's no desire, there's no attraction. If you're not attracted to somebody, if there's no a spark, if there's no desire, you have to let it go. Okay? You have to you have to let it go. You have something the 4 of cups, you have something, and I think that you've been thinking about it. I think that you know it and I think that you see it and I think that you should take it. There is something big for you. There is big 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 love for you. But there's something that you need to put out first. There is the Ace of Wands. There's something that you need to put out. You need to take control of whatever this situation is. And it, ta and it starts with communicating. Communicate, communicate, communicate. You communicate. You do whatever it is that you need to do. Even if it means that you have to be alone. And you receive a big, huge reward for it. So there is a reward here. There is a reward. But... You got to stand up for yourself. You got to push people and things and mostly people away that don't serve you. That is what you need to do. Endings bring new beginnings. There is something that you need to release. And now you have a new beginning. You do. The universe has a new beginning for you. 
it's a big one too this is universally driven is like the universe is about to reward you in a big big way for speaking up for telling the truth or something like that because that is the approach once you communicate the truth and don't make sure it ain't a lie because if you communicate any sort of lie then you don't get a reward okay so this is speaking the truth releasing the past taking the offer that you really really are looking at that you really really want that is acting with integrity Don't let people bully you. Don't let people push you around. Do what's right for you. You have a huge, 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 huge reward here that is brought to you from the universe. This is this is major. This is like God or a higher power or the universe saying, I got something for you and it is going to make you extremely happy. But you're going to have to release something that really doesn't serve you. So that is what I see. That is what I see. You have a you have a reward coming. Um, you have, it's like you have a new life waiting for you. Okay, that's what death is. Something has to die to live again. Okay, something has. To, that's what's going on here. So there is something that you need to put out. There's something that you need to dis, extinguish. You know, you need to it done. Nope. You got something big. You got something huge here. You know what it is. Good luck.